Greetings folks and welcome to a beautiful misty Mornington in County Meath. Uh, Irish Sea over there, can't see it because it's shrouded of mist and the River Boyne over behind me, behind the camera over there. Recently a friend said to me that when you live somewhere you stop seeing its beauty after six months or so. It's something I don't really agree with but I kind of see where they're coming from. But it got me thinking, since I'm in lockdown essentially and hiding hairstyles that look like a thundercat and I can't travel more than five kilometers to my beloved west of Ireland and northwest Donegal, I, I'm going to stay local and try and capture scenes that appeal over the coming days and weeks. Um, you know, it's, this isn't really about capturing spectacular images, it's about capturing images of my locality that give a sense of place. No idea if it's going to work, but it might make for an interesting, pro interesting project in the coming weeks. Um, We'll see how it goes. In the interim, I'm going to head into the mist and see what I can find. So here's the image I'm after. I've got this beacon in the foreground and these three telegraph poles that disappear into the mist. I love the shape of them. Uh, to make sure that background stays soft, shooting this at f6.7 um, may or may not be any good of an image, but I kind of think it's got potential as a black and white or a split tone shot. So we'll see how it goes. I'll capture one or two more images before I disappear into the mist. Greetings folks from morning two of my little mini project close to home, a uh, sense of place. Icy cold this morning, really really cold, gloves, hot weather, moon's out, a lot of frost on the grass. I'm down by the river, tides in, I think it's still coming in, and I'm down at the beacons that I often photograph here. Uh, when I talk about a sense of place, these beacons that line the river really are part of the story of this area they kind of guide the ships up and down it I photographed them many times over the years but this morning some beautiful light uh, shimmering in the water uh, I'm just trying to capture one or two images here I've got these three beacons nice forming a nice triangular pattern I'm going to try and capture one or two images here shutter speed one or two seconds um, and we'll see how that goes beautiful to be able to Yeah. Okay, so what I've done is I've rotated the, the camera so it's in a vertical position. I'm just adjusting my composition here ever so slightly to make sure it's got what I want. And I've just dropped a case ND grad on here just to slow the shutter speed down a bit more now down to about four or five seconds. But this looks nice. There's a couple of words in the setup. I've got the camera in a vertical position. And I've got the beacons framed slightly to the right. I love those cool reflections in the water, which I'm trying to capture here. Shutter speed's but one second. Gorgeous sky. The sky's really starting to pop now with color. And I've tilted the camera to a vertical position and I got a case ND grad on here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful colors here. But the grad has brought the shutter speed down to about four or five seconds, and that really smoothing out the water in the foreground, which is absolutely beautiful at this moment in time. Silhouettes look great. 
I'm kind of happy with this composition. So I'm going to try a bit tighter. Oh, that looks nice too. Check the focus. Always check the focus. Nothing worse than getting back and having a picture ruined. Yeah, I think that's the shot. That was a fun trip this morning. Good to be back out with the camera and it's kind of a mini project I'm starting to enjoy. You never know, I might get a picture that I'm happy with in the coming weeks. This morning's image, I think it looks okay. Um, but it's probably the, the easy shot to get. Um, I've done a bit of scouting this morning since I took that picture and I found a composition that I think will work when I get a few of the other elements of the uh, of this area into the shot, namely some of the ships that go up and down the river, the tower that sits on the edge of the river, and some of the dunes here. But again, I need the elements to come together for that, so that could be days, weeks before that happens. Either way, good, good, good to be out close to home out with the camera. Um, but right now, it's time for back for breakfast and coffee.